Jumbo, I think this might be one of the best hunts of the year. Man, it was a Especially great Especially for time. you. Huh? Well, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Before we show you everything, we just want to tell you a little bit about our hunt. We got out there nice and early this morning, mm -hmm. a couple hours before low tide. Mm -hmm. Start hitting the shoreline. Not a ton of targets, but the targets we got were good. I mean, we have almost as many good targets as we got the other targets. That's I mean, right. considering, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes you're going to get $20 worth of change and not one single piece of jewelry. That's true. And this time we got, I mean, three, six, nine, Man. 15 pieces, 20 pieces of jewelry and, you know, and it changed. But John Boy struck gold with silver today. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to show you this in just a little bit, but. That is the coolest thing right there. We're going to show it at the close. I mean, we we'll get into it and tell you a little more about it. But that, we have determined, is a real eight real somebody had around their neck. And they apparently dropped it. And mm -hmm. John Boy dug it. It was a little bit deep, wasn't it, John Boy? Man, like two foot deep. <laughs> it was really deep. I didn't think I was going to get it, but I could not let that target go. No, no. And uh, that was his last... Target. Sometimes you get the best thing on the first target. That's Sometimes right. you get it on the last target. This was the last target dug right there. We're getting Man. ready to head out. John Boy was looking for me to head out, and bam, bam. Unbelievable, man. We're going to show you some things here. Uh, cat, right there. We're going to show you. We're going to do some gold testing on it, too. It's pretty cool. So we both got gold, and we both got silver. That's pretty cool. It is real cool. Awesome. All right, y'all want to check everything out? Let's do it. Here we go. All right, we're going to start with an overview. Look at that. That is awesome. We got our normal junk. I got a couple pair of glasses up here. My little bit of trash. There's John. John, well, you didn't dig much trash either. We really did not dig that much trash. We really did. I didn't get that many, many coins of John Boy, but I got buck something. John Boy got a little more over than that one. He got over two bucks here. So it's still not that much clad compared to some of the stuff that we got. All right, some of the good, better stuff couple little, I guess they're little wristbands, right, John Boy? I think got so. Thing yeah, I they, think got, so. they both got metal in them because I got signals on both. Um, a little uh, Virginia Beach little thing there. This is like, a, it says, love you on one side. Stainless steel. I think you can see it right there. Love you. Somebody else wears the other half right there. And I did get some sterling silver right there. What's that for, John Boy? That's some of the Gig Master right there. G right there, baby. G for Gig Master. Sterling Silver. Mrs. G, right? That's right. That's for Mrs. G right there. Mrs. Gig Master. I did get five rings today, which Good is job. not bad. I Good thought job, for sure man. one of these would be sterling, but I don't think any of them are. I kind of looked at them. Uh, this one had one of these I thought was a silver number in it, but it's actually got a date, like a marriage date. And what does that say, John Boy? Forever yours or something? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Always. For, always. Anyway, he had some writing on that. Uh, probably stainless steel, I'm saying. Uh, junkers. And uh, then we had this one right here. It's a, I mean, it's, it's, this isn't, they're junkers, but this isn't really a junker here. This is stainless steel or tungsten or something. Probably stainless steel with the weight of it. But uh, it wasn't marked. But uh, that still can be used, though. I mean, certainly somebody could definitely still use both of those rings right there. But these are silver-plated, so they're not going to be any good there. But I did get this right here. I couldn't believe when I dug this up. This is a cat off of a tooth right there, and it's going to be gold. We're going to test it a little bit. I took my buffing wheel on it right here. You can see it buff out right there, gold. And uh, it's pretty heavy. We're going to weigh it. And we're going to do a test on it in just a minute. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to go through the little John Boy stuff. That we thought was going to be sterling silver, but we put it under a microscope. And nothing's written on it. So that's just a regular ring. What we got here, John Boy? That's... Yeah, that one's, that one's actually marked inside. It's got a little message, but I can't see what it is now. Okay, we'll have to check that out. Man, if I check it out, I'll put it up there on the screen there. Get that. Uh, earring... We did test this, and it didn't seem to hold 10K very long. And uh, we think it's like 8 carat. It's got DGI on it, written on That's the right. edge, but doesn't have it marked. We're definitely thinking it's definitely gold, but maybe 8 or 9 carat. Maybe. Yeah, it sure reads like it. It's a really I mean, you can tell. I mean, just looking at it, it's probably... It's got the gold look to it. It's got the gold feel to it and all. But, and it does hold it for a minute. 
and, I mean, for a little bit, but it eventually it's a, it could be like a wheat tin carrot or something, maybe. But it, uh, this right here is Pandora. That, right. Congratulations on that one, John Boy. That's a nice, nice bracelet right there, Pandora bracelet. It's written right on it, Pandora up there. Okay. 925 written right on it. Pretty cool. But this is the find of the oh, day. Man. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is super cool. I know the guy hated losing that, John Boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. man. But as you can see, um, it's a uh, it's definitely an eight real Spanish coin, probably from the 1600s, I'd say. But that is super super cool right there. And this is gold. John Boy did scratch test this. Uh, we did a little scratch test on that, and that is what 14 carat, John Boy. 14 carat. 14 carat all the way down here. I'm sure you know the anchor and all that's 14 carat gold, and that's a silver coin. So gold and silver right there, oh, baby. Boy. I love it, man. That is awesome right there. That is there. a great film. All right, we're going to do a little quick test here with uh, with the tooth. John Boy, hold that phone right there while I got it. get over here and see if we can't get a um, good scratch on it here. Right there. All right, y'all can see that right there. Get my glasses on so I can see it. All right, this is 10 carat acid. So long as this does not eat the gold, it's 10 carat. And you put a little string across it. And as you can see, it's holding there. This is 14 carat. So you put a little across that. And as you can see, it's staying right there. If, it, if it's not, it will instantly eat it right off. I mean, you can really tell when you do that. And this is, this right here is 18 carat solution right there. I'll show you 18K. So put that across there. And as you can see, it's holding. It's, it's still holding. So this tooth is, looks like it's at least 18 carat. It's dental gold. Not sure exactly the carat of it, but it is 100% gold. And it's actually holding 18 carat. So let's see what it weighs, John Boy. Let's check I'm this ready. One. All right, let's see what we got. You can tell when you feel it. Gold, a lot of times you can tell it's, it's, it's heavier. Check this out right here. 4.90 grams. That weighs more than a lot of the rings. That big gold and diamond ring I found today was like two, two gram, a little two gram. That weighs almost five grams right there of 18 carat. Right pretty there. good, pretty good. I like it, John Boy. That's pretty cool right there. Um, I don't know what we'll show just so y'all can see. This is that earring, and just to show you the difference between what you just saw with that other one. It's got a nice, really nice scratch on it. And this is 10K right here. Just so y'all see what we were doing here. Let's get a little bigger scratch on it. And as you can see, it's holding for a minute here, but it looks like it's slowly eating it away, doesn't it, John Boy? It does. I agree with you. So, pretty sure it's uh, gold, but it's just a little lighter than, uh, let's show it a little closer there. So you can see how it's going away. And it's still holding over here. Looks like the 18 is slowly starting to eat this one. So 10, 14, and slowly eating 18. So it's probably right at 18 carat. The tooth is right here. The tooth be told is 18 carat. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool right there. Good job, good, on good day, John Boy. Good day. Why did it do it again? Man. Oh, you got one more thing here. A little, little bracelet thing there. I'm loving it, John Boy. Pretty good. John Boy, congratulations right on, on that. man. Man, I'm still in awe of that. I'm stoked Eight over that. Real. That's that's the best find I've seen at the beach, John Boy. I'm telling you, man, that thing could go up way up in value. Crazy, crazy. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy coming along with us and uh, checking all our finds out. What do you think, John Boy? Oh, what a great day. That's awesome, awesome, man. Day. It's a good hunt. Well, it had, I mean, seven rings. Cobb, I mean, man, ain't bad, John Boy. Not bad at all. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and what do you got to do, John Boy? Subscribe to the Gig Master. We'll see you on the next adventure.